Hello, everybody. Um, today, I thought I would um, go over a little bit of the Lords of Chaos read through. Now, chapters one through three were very interesting. Chapters four through ten were a slog. A slog. Because seriously, like, as interesting as it is, um, there is so much about Varg, Varg's beliefs in this, and they're disgusting. And so, like, I know that this isn't about the music, you know? <clears throat> But, um, and I was talking to Zoe about it, and I think what it is, is that when I read this before, a few years ago, I was probably more like, oh, that's a quirky character. Gosh, he's a real opinionated asshole, but, you know, whatever. He's just being him. I don't agree with fucking anything he says, but, you know, whatever. But since the last couple years and everything that's gone on here, um, I just, I can't tolerate it anymore. And it's really hard to deal with. And, like, if you don't know, like, his views on race and nationalism and, um stuff like that, and, um, homosexuality, they're just fucking disgusting, and, like, the book isn't praising him or painting him in a good light, it's just, there were, like, five chapters in a row where they just kept interviewing him about stuff, and it was, like, I get it, kinda don't care, like, those first four Burzum releases were awesome. Uh, let's move on now. So, um, I'm much further into the book now. But, um, what chapter am I actually on? Let's see if I can find it. Um, and now it's talking more about devil worship and stuff like that. Um, and who, uh, Oh, no, I'm in chapter 10, so, um, I'm, like, halfway through chapter 10. So, now we're just talking about Satanism, and who's a Satanist, and who isn't, and, um, and the real interesting thing about it is, is that a lot of these black metal bands from Norway, um, are Satanists, but at the same time, like don't accept the Christian mythology, let's say. And they are more into Nordic gods, like Odin and shit like that. But the argument that was actually made in the 80s by, um, I think, um, the guy from Bathory was the first one to actually come out and say it like this. But, um, like, why believe in Satan, who is a construct of the Christian church, if you're not going to believe in the Christian God? Like, you probably can't do both. And then they even interviewed Anton LaVey, um, and he was talking about how Satanism is more of a, um, more of a lifestyle than the worship of a said Satan. So, um, it is very interesting. <clears throat> and, uh, if I remember correctly, like right now it's focusing on Germany and when it gets into France, it's going to get really interesting. So, um, if I remember correctly, so, um, that's Lord of Chaos, Lords of Chaos. And we've been talking about it a bit in the discord server, but really we're just talking about music more than anything. I created a playlist, um, if you 
go down below to my Spotify link, <clears throat> I have a playlist called uh, Lords of Chaos Group Read, and I've been adding songs, every song that comes up in the book, or every band that comes up in the book. So, like, when the book starts off, we're talking about, like, well, not when it very starts off, but it'll talk about, like, Robert Johnson selling a soul to the devil at the crossroads, um, the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, Coven, Black Widow, like, all these, like, older rock bands, um, and then, like, they'll talk about Motorhead, and then we'll move into, like, Motley Crue and the Misfits, but then we're also dealing with, like, Venom and Merciful Fate and Bathory. And then there's, like, a huge kind of death metal bit because um, black metal came out of anger against death metal. So there's all sorts of cool death metal in the playlist. And then there's even craft work in the playlist. Like, um, it's just a musical history tour, if you will. Um, and I've been listening to that a lot and, um, that's been a blast seriously. So even if you don't read the book, you should definitely listen to the playlist because the playlist is banging. I'm telling you. So anyway, um, that's it for now. And I'll let you more, I'll let you more now, nay, later. Yes, I just had a stroke. I'm sorry. Um, I think I'm going to clean my computer today because I don't think I've ever done it, and it's looking drab. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.